Hello everyone and welcome to episode 58 I believe it is of Mentos Plays Spelunky. We are here for the October 25th daily challenge where we will hopefully be putting up a better run than we have yesterday or the couple days of the, uh, uh, bleh, the couple other recent days when we haven't done very well. Uh, quite frankly I've been playing some Spelunky in my downtime and not doing so hot. Um, I've had a couple of good runs that have ended for horrible reasons. Um, <laughs> But as a whole, just not doing as well as I would like. So hopefully we'll be getting back in form here. What were this? some of the dumb deaths I had yesterday? Oh, I can't even remember offhand now. Just some absolutely ridiculous stuff happening. I think one of them was I shot a UFO and it blew downwards into... Thanks a whole bunch of trap. I wish I had gone up top here first. Um, but yeah, blew upwards into another arrow trap, and into another UFO, and when it hit the other UFO, that one came bouncing in my direction instead of the, instead of away from me like the first one, and that blew up on me. I think there was at least once where, uh, I don't think it was one of the ones on video where a, it might have been though, where a mummy hit me with, uh, I got hit by a mummy trying to get it to a point where I could attack it, and it proceeded to knock me into uh, into something that ended up killing me. I forget what. Um, maybe it was into a uh, thwomp, and then my climbing gloves caught me on the thwomp and prevented me from getting away. And so I died because of climbing gloves, which is actually rather rare. I know there are a lot of people who swear that climbing gloves get you killed more often than they save your life, but I am not one of those people. Um, but yeah, that time it was definitely, if I didn't have climbing gloves, I would have just fallen right past the thwomp, and there wouldn't have been a problem. So now this shop down here kind of sucks. I am kind of tempted to pick up the mystery box, see if there's anything good in there. But other than that, there's not really much going on in there. Um, I am looking for the damsel, although it kind of seems like we don't have a damsel on this floor. Which I always hate when you uh, have an altar and no damsel. Speaking of climbing gloves, we can use those to traverse our way back upwards easily. And take a look around to see if I maybe just missed the damsel somewhere. Uh, not up there. I haven't really heard anything from the damsel either, so that's kind of frustrating. I kind of hate when there's no damsel spawn on a level regardless, but when there's no damsel spawn on a level and there's an altar, it's even worse. Um, but I didn't see any sign of it, so I'm not going to waste bombs trying to go in there. Uh, looks like there's not much going on. Oh well, I guess we aren't going to get a sacrifice on this floor. I mean, I could kill the shopkeeper and sacrifice him, but that's not going to give me enough points to get anything, so why bother? Also, I should point out that buying that mystery box actually turned out to be perfectly balanced, because, uh, yeah, the climbing gloves normally cost 8,000, and if I recall correctly, that is what, oh god, that is what the uh, mystery box on the first shop like that costs, so it works out. Gonna trigger this bat away from the spikes. And hopefully we don't die on this level. Thank you, that was rather close. Um, our best bet here is going to be to toss a rope down, which will kill that bat and trigger the arrow trap. I guess if I had known the bat was gonna be right there, it would have been easier to just kill it the normal way, but um you know, we're going to murder the shopkeeper. No, we don't have the bombs to do it. We're just going to buy stuff from him. I know it's crazy me buying stuff from a shopkeeper, but quite frankly, I don't have enough bombs to feel comfortable with trying to kill him that way. And the only other way I know how to kill him is something that does not work well when you don't have uh, more than one health. There are a couple of crates. I can get to this one with one bomb and a rope. Oh god. No! I whipped too soon! Well, that was a horrible daily challenge. Absolutely horrendous. 
So let's see if we can put up something a little bit better in a regular adventure, why don't we? Holy crap. <clears throat> I mean, admittedly, it wasn't giving me a whole lot to work with, but why I thought that it was a good idea to fall into that pit, I don't know. In fact, that may have been one time where climbing gloves kind of caused me to quickly react um, and react poorly as part of the reason for my death, which is unfortunate, but no big deal. We were still early. Yes, it's a bad daily run, but obviously it's not going to affect my top 10 daily scores because those are all actually pretty good, but still disappointing to lose so early and so stupidly. I was just taking a lot of really poor damage throughout that run. It happens. Snake! Oh, that was how one of my runs got ended. Um, I broke a pot and a snake popped out of it. And so I threw a rock at him, but I threw it at him before he had finished spawning, I guess is the best way to put it. So instead of killing the snake, it just kind of passed through him. And I started to run forward, and that was... That's how it was. I don't remember if it was on the video or not, but uh, the mummy, I killed him. The ruby dropped onto a pot that spawned the snake. I tried to kill him, but I couldn't because uh, when I hit him, he hadn't completely spawned yet. And then because of that, I walked forward and right into the snake. And that cost me my life. Aww. Now we need to hope this is bombs because we want to at least break even. It's a parachute, so we use three bombs to get a parachute. Not a good deal. Not a good deal at all. In fact, if I could take that back, I would take it back 99.99999 times out of 100. And then last point one time is when I have like 99 bombs and there is a bomb box on the level that I would like to pick up and need to waste bombs to make it worthwhile. That is about the only time where wasting three bombs for a parachute is a good trade. And now we've got none left because I used one to get the damsel. Not the safest decision. Not the safest decision at all. Not one that I would really necessarily make again. Uh, we could use a rope to get a ruby. I don't know if that's really a good trade. We do have a crate down here. Hopefully it's bombs. We also have an altar, which hopefully will actually have a damsel on this floor this time. It's another parachute. So not only did I use three bombs to get a parachute, but the next floor gave me one for free when I had no bombs. This game can be a dick. Never mind. You know that thing I said about this game could be a dick? Never mind that, because we just got 48 bombs from the shop. So, uh, you know, things went pretty well for us there, let's be honest. Now we're going to probably have to use most, if not all, of our ropes to get back up to this altar. But I wanted to make it happen. Uh, maybe we can save one by going like this. Going like that. And boom. We get a compass from that. Not the best item, but not bad to pick up either. We are going to sacrifice the shopkeeper. Just so we get an extra sacrifice on our books. Makes it a little bit more likely that we would be able to get a Kapala without sacrificing a second damsel, but sacrificing other stuff on the level. Of course, that doesn't apply if we run into another altar on the mines, because there aren't really enough things on the mines to sacrifice other than the damsel or the shopkeepers. Oh, we're going to use one more rope to get over to this area. It's all about the Benjamins, son. All about the Benjamins. By that I mean, there's a little bit of gold over here, so why not use a rope to get it? Why? Because now I only have one left, but I don't care. That is of no concern to me. Boom! Snake dead. Should be kind of careful about firing shots at random like that, because there could be a damsel that gets killed, and then we find an altar, and then we can't get the Kapala because we killed the damsel with, gun with a random gunshot. And then I cry on camera, and everyone feels really terrible about witnessing a grown man cry. And it's just not a good time for, ever, for anyone. So we're going to try to avoid that, why don't we? So now we do have our damsel here. We will of course be on the lookout for an altar, and we are going to move things along in a reasonable order. In other words, take our shotgun, grab our damsel. I do kind of want to go in there, because there is a crate. 
But it would take at least a bomb. You know what, we're just gonna ignore that crate. This one down here, however, we might be able to get without using anything but our shotgun. And that's a deal I'm willing to trade for. Uh, our key is over here, so we do need to use a bomb to get in there. Let's go grab our chest. We're also going to toss our damsel down. Not the safest thing to do, but hopefully she will survive. There may be spikes down there, but... If there are, I apologize, damsel, but your life was a necessary sacrifice. And by necessary, I of course mean I was too lazy to try to escort you properly, and so you died due to my own laziness. So now I could probably get up here with just one bomb. It would be very risky though. No, it wouldn't. No, I actually think through what I'm doing. Three ropes, that's actually good. I was kind of hoping there were ropes in there. Or a jetpack. Pretty much always hoping there's a jetpack in a crate. I don't know why you would hope that there wasn't a jetpack in a crate, unless you are a crazy, crazy person. We're, we'll push this one off the edge, blow up that one with our gun, we get more ropes. I stupidly jump into a pit, but I can get back out of it. Now, hopefully we can just kill the shopkeeper standing here firing. We should be able to. Indeed we have. Excellent. Excellent. So now there was no altar on this level, which is unfortunate, but grab the damsel, get back up here, grab our gun, go. Booyah! I guess there would be one situation when you would hope that there wasn't a jetpack in the uh, crate, and that would be if you were hoping for a plasma cannon, which is even rarer, and quite frankly something that has never happened to me in my entire Spelunky playtime. But something I always really want to happen, because the plasma cannon is real fun to play with. But the, uh... The mothership that you have to go through to get it is really, really hard. And so if I could get a free plasma cannon, I would have a ball. But chances of getting that are very low. In fact, I've only seen it not only in my own play, but in videos I've watched, I've only seen that happen once. That was really close. I almost fired at that spider and then I saw the spikes below and was like, that's a bad idea. Come on, thank you. Easy enough to take him out. Of course the music's still going because there's a vault on this level. But the only shopkeeper we have to worry about is dead. Let's use one more bomb to go over here and look to see if our damsel is on this side. I know I heard her screaming, so there should be something. There it is. We'll have to use one more bomb to get her, but that's fine. And the spat's gonna be like, I'm gonna get you! Aha! A well-placed whip. You gotta keep them damsels in check, man. Now I could try to go for that vault. I'm not going to try to go for that vault. Because I only have seven ropes, which isn't that many, and I don't feel like trying to run from the ghost in this level. If I had a jetpack, I would do it no question. Well, if I had a jetpack and paste, actually. That's the other problem, is it was going to take us quite a few bombs knowing that we didn't have paste to get to that uh, vault. Oh god. Hey, that parachute I spent three bombs on paid off eventually. Although now the only item that we have aside from our shotgun, is a compass. Which is kind of crazy, if you ask me. For robbing shops since the beginning, we have, besides our pretty pretty sizable amount of bombs still, we've only got one item. Which is kind of crazy, if you ask me. Uh, we are going to have to use a rope to get back up here. We are going to get that cape as well, most likely. Um, again, it is kind of a risk without paste in terms of how many bombs it's going to take, but if we go in from the top it'll take a nice easy two. Um, it also allows us to explore this area, which is a plus. I still hope to get a jetpack, but having a cape already is not a problem. 
Our exit is right down there, actually, which is kind of weird. Usually the exit isn't behind an area where you use a bomb t and isn't so easily accessed from an area you had to use a bomb to get to. I can't believe that actually hit the shopkeeper. Get hit by that more. Go on. Get yourself killed by the Tiki Trap. I dare you, Mr. Shopkeep. Thank you. Kill this man. Get his body out of the way. And then we'll explore this side of things a little bit, because we might as well. Uh, we need to check to make sure the black market wasn't over on this side. It does not appear so, because this is the area where I just was before going for that cape. Touchdown at the right time, and onwards we go. Jungle level 2, here we come. And we do have an altar right off the bat, as well as a t couple of tiki men here to sacrifice to the altar. Not quite enough to get a Kapala yet, but we're getting close. Nothing interesting over there. If we have to use ropes to get back up here and get a Kapala, I will gladly use ropes to get a Kapala. And finally get Pace, that's a plus. Plant a bomb there. Drop my shotgun way further than I intended to. Ooh, that was really close because I was not thinking clearly. I'm gonna take this caveman up to our altar, where we will hopefully... I don't think this will be enough to get a Kapala. It might be, but I feel like we haven't done quite enough yet. Nope, not yet. Now we're gonna have to be careful about this shopkeeper because he's already aggroed. And unfortunately our shotgun is down there with him. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a bomb right here. And then we are going to... Wait for him to hopefully get out of this little hole he's put himself in. We'll try to help him out a little bit. Maybe kill him in the process. got too much area to run now. Thank you. Now we are going to take this guy up to the altar. If this isn't enough to get the Kapala, I'm going to be sad because my plan is to use this and then still get the health from the damsel. But obviously if this doesn't give it to us, we're going to sacrifice the damsel as well, but it was enough. Good. So now we can use one bomb to get our damsel, who is a level below us right now. And we're also going to want to come down here and get our shotgun, because that'll allow us to kill Mr. Plant Man here. Hopefully collect some sweet, delicious blood. Get some blood from our damsel as well. And then we are going to grab our shotgun, toss that down below, hurry up because the ghost is coming, probably from the right, which is a good thing. And then move on. And our black market should be on the next level. We got 8 health. This run is shaping up. Um, we got Jack for items. I mean, we've got Kapala, Paste, and uh, Compass. But that's not a whole lot for this point in the game. And quite frankly, I could definitely use some more to feel confident in this run. But from a health perspective and from a... Uh, just sheer luck in terms of getting the altars that we needed and all. We're doing pretty well so far. Um, we're holding our own against these shopkeepers, of course. There's the blink for our black market. Looks like this shopkeeper has been uh, glitched. So he shouldn't ever be an issue to us. That yeah, worked out better than I expected it to. And we also have an I Hear Russian Water level, like it appears. I didn't actually notice that little intro sequence, but it doesn't always appear, so... We're gonna use one bomb to get three gems here. Good. No sign of the damsel up above. 
I see it actually in the water there. So we aren't going to worry about the damsel, we are just going to move onwards to the black market, where we will hopefully make good things happen. Those uh, 48 bombs we got early are kind of starting to wear a little bit thin. So one shopkeeper down. There's two shopkeepers down. And to plant a bomb on both of these tiki traps just to play it safe. We do have some more gold to collect from this first shopkeeper over here. Just wanted to make sure that our area was clear first. And there's a jetpack in this shop, so of course we will be going for this one. Not the most effective way to be shooting at these guys, but it's working. In fact, if we jump down here, we can just take them out easily. Oops. Well, that didn't work out as I planned. There we go. Uh, what's down here? We got a bomb box, we got some spike shoes, I want both of those. Um, of course I want this jetpack, and first we are going to worry about getting the Ankh, which is integral to our success. I really like that new strategy I've learned from watching uh, Bananasaurus Rex speedruns, which is to use that little ledge on the ladder to kind of angle your bombs downwards for you. Oh, almost got that one. Neither of those guys have their shotguns, which is real good for us. And we can put a bomb here, that'll give us a bomb box, as well as a nice clean exit down below. The shopkeeper has obviously already died. These ones should die pretty soon. Good. Now that everything is dead, we can just nice and casually walk to the exit and be like, we got 149,000, we got a jetpack, we got a Kapala, we got spike shoes, we got a lot of bombs. We're in good shape. Indeed we are, sir. Indeed we are. That was really close to a problem. I almost just forgot to fire as I ran into that Yeti, and that would have resulted in us uh, getting comboed infinitely and losing our Ankh. Now, of course, I could save the damsel. It's kind of pointless. Um, honestly, 12 health is about and is enough to survive an explosion. And if we take more damage than that before we get to our reviving point, well, we've got other problems. Like, I don't think anything else that can kill us is more of an instant kill than the mine. And something that would have a difference made if we had a little bit more health. So why bother escorting the damsel when it makes zero difference to us? Zero difference whatsoever. Can kill this mammoth really easily. Oh, he would have killed himself on the mine. Ooh. That was stupid. Stupid, stupid dumb. I didn't expect that ledge I was standing on to disappear, I won't lie to you. Well, we're going to get as much gold as we can. Uh, when there's a vault, we will probably ghost it. Our damsel is already dead. I'm kind of curious what happened to her since she's on the top level here. And just dead as a doornail. Kill that guy. It appears as though our shotgun has been lost to the abyss a bit earlier than it was planned to lose it, but... Not the most concerning thing in the world. Four. Could take that freeze ray with us if we wanted. Yeah, I'm pretty sure our shotgun is just lost to us. Oh, I don't see it laying around anywhere. Come on, Mr. UFO. Come over there. Thank you. Yeah, no sign of the shotgun. Oh well. 
It's only gonna affect us for this level, really, because next level it doesn't matter if we die. Oh, there it is! But yeah, next level we're gonna lose it anyway, and it doesn't matter if we die, so not having it isn't nearly isn't much of an issue. A little bit of a sip of a drink to keep my throat nice and moist. And we'll grab some gems up here. I should be uh, just kind of saving those gems. Chances are the vault is... yeah, right here. So really, theoretically, I should be saving those gems, but uh... oh well. well we're gonna toss our shotgun right here. I'm gonna pick up the damsel. Toss a bomb at this crate, which gives us a few more ropes. Not all that helpful, but I'll take them. And then we're going to get out of dodge. So that shopkeeper has died, so is the one at the bottom, which means we can safely float our way down here, drop off our damsel. That worked out surprisingly well for us. So now this is the level where we want to get ourselves killed. But, of course, we want to go to that vault, because extra monies. Uh, it doesn't look like there are very many other gems on the level, so I'm just going to pick up that emerald instead of wasting time with it. Um, I don't really have enough bombs to justify bombing out all the gems I can get, so I don't think it would be a wise decision to just wait on it. Yeah, there's not much going on on this level pretty much going to be get these gems and then let ourselves die. One important thing though is we should not just let the ghost capture us in here because that would be really close to that head statue there and the ghost might actually make it to us before we finished uh, respawning and that would be a horrible horrible way to waste this run. And I know I know 63 bombs is a lot. When you consider how much you use on the temple and the city of gold and hell just to make it through the levels, um, nonetheless if I want to do Olmec the easy way, then we're talking about a lot of bombs that we're going to need. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Come on, ghosty, ghosty, ghosty. Flutter! A terrible chill runs down your spine. <coughs> I said a terrible chill runs down my spine. Okay, you say up your spine. I don't know how I got that wrong. I wish that the ghost turned gems in walls into diamonds too. Cause it would make it would save a lot of time when you're ghosting if you could just drag them over all the things in the walls and then blow them up afterwards. So now we want to drag the ghost over this way and down. Ooh. Mammoth. Come on, Mr. Ghost. Whee! And the ghost was like, the oh, fuck, this dude's crazy! And we're like, Hedget! Hedget! So now this is a decent run. I don't mind this run at all. We are going to be out for blood as well as, of course, our damsel. Oh, that did not work out as I planned it to. But at least we got some of the blood from it, I guess. That could have been dangerous, I took the risk though. That also could have been dangerous. As could that. The one thing that we're really missing that I like to have at this point is climbing gloves. For situations exactly like that, it's a little bit safer. So our damsel is up here. We are going to whip once for blood. Whip twice for blood and then move on. Ride this a little bit of the way down. Oh god. 
No, damsel! Okay, I accidentally killed you, I'm sorry. I am surprised that it was me and the damsel who survived that, not the Yeti. That was kind of a cool transition. Like, the music switched over at the perfect time to make that sound really awesome. Um, we don't really have much to take with us to the next floor. So I guess we'll just move on. I apologize, last damsel of the ice caves. I have failed you. I have failed you real badly. So Anubis is here. We want to kill this mummy. Oh god! That man got himself burned up in lava. Anubis is going to get killed by these bombs. That'll give us his scepter. Get a little bit of blood off of that guy. A little bit more off of this guy. Oh, That thwomp is safely hidden away behind some blocks. Or behind a tree, I guess, more exactly. I know that was a risk, but I had to take it. I do want to go get these two crates. Really? That was not worth it. Make sure that arrow trap is triggered before we drop down this way. And that successfully killed that shopkeeper. Now the question is, do we wait and ghost this vault or do we just kind of let it be? We could also bomb down this way, get that uh, beetle dude taken care of, get some blood out of him. Get some blood out of this guy. Come up here to our damsel. Get a couple whips worth of blood on him. Or out of him. Take him to the exit. Nothing blood giving over here. Okay, and now we wait for our ghost who is coming right now. We'll grab our scepter while we're dragging the ghost around a bit. So that is ghosted all of those gems. Let's get him down here. We'll drag ourselves up, get all these, and then we'll go. Uh, nothing else worth bothering with, indeed. I could have actually killed those little locusts to uh, give myself a little bit extra blood. That could have been real dangerous, I won't lie to you. Now the question here is, do I go straight for... Oop, that won't... There goes my damsel. Now the question is, do I go straight to entering the City of Gold? Or do I bring the scepter down below to use on the shopkeeper so I can bring a shotgun with me to the City of Gold? I think the correct answer is the second one. Okay, so this dude is going to be easy enough to kill with the scepter. I was kind of afraid it might go for him, but now that he's been carried away... Excellent. We're going to drop this down, because I figured that arrow trap hadn't been triggered yet. Going to grab our scepter. Come back up here and unlock our door to City of Gold. This has actually been a very easy to navigate uh, temple floor. 
There's a lot of stuff in there, but it's going to cost a lot of resources to get. And I don't feel like using those resources or the time to get in there. So we're just going to move on to our City of Gold. City of Gold! Kill these guys, get a little bit more blood, a little bit more health. Oh god! I almost did not see that guy. Womps, I hate you. You are the worst enemy in this game. Like, I used to be one of those people who thought that, you know, oh, the bats are so bad, they troll you and kill you so often on accident, when they're not even that difficult to kill. So that makes them even more of jerks. No. No, the thwomps, man. The thwomps are the worst thing in this game. Oh god. Just got myself hit by that arrow trap. That's not smart. Get some more blood. Kill this mummy the easy way. Blow up the sticky trap. Should probably blow up these ones just to make sure they don't cause me problems later. That was a bad bomb. But oh well, we get a little bit more gold from it. Let's blow up this one. I didn't actually intend for the shopkeeper to be uh, aggroed like that. Oh god. It's close. Come on now. Come on, there we go. Okay, so now the ghost is coming and we have to deal with Anubis 2 while we're running from the ghost. Not a big deal. Um, we just want to go back over this way where we already have a path ready to go. Get our extra gold here. Grab this. Come over here, one, two. Good. Oh god. Run away! Don't you like how you move at the same pace as the ghost when you're moving one of those things? Ooh, there's more gold up here. I know, I'm an idiot for trying to drag out more gold from this, but... Hey, we're up to 520,000, why not? We can ghost this ruby. We can get that back pretty easily. Just as such. Just a little bit of gold up here. Missed a little bit of it, but can also go to this ruby. And if I blow this one up in time, this one. Good, good. I'm using a lot of bombs on this level to collect some more gold because I want to put up the highest score we have thus far. We don't have a whole lot of bombs, but we have enough. I'm not going to be able to go with that one. I can, however, hit both these mummies with a bomb. And then drag the ghost over these rubies. Hopefully this emerald too. Indeed. Get 
get this stuff that we already got down at the bottom here. I kind of want to do get that last ruby up here. Uh, that sapphire we're not going to be able to ghost. Come on. It's going to use a little bit more. I'm getting to the point where I'm a little bit uncomfortable using more bombs. Um, might use up to like one more just for a little bit of extra gold, but not much. Uh, we can blow up this sapphire and that'll give us a ghosted gem as well as some more gold. And we'll actually blow up this little area too because there's really no reason not to other than bomb preservation, which isn't the hugest issue right now. And... Ah, screw it. Let's go a little bit crazy. We can always get more bombs on the, on the Yama fight. We are going to blow up a whole lot of the City of Gold here. Now, I don't think I'm going to have a real good way to get him to ghost this Sapphire. Unless I play very risky. So let's play very risky. Didn't work out. I don't think I could have let him get any closer than that to me without taking a hit and dying. We will go until we're at 10 bombs, how about? Or, I guess I should say, as long as we can find some good areas to blow up, we'll go until we have 10 bombs. That gold went everywhere when that blew up. Now, one last thing I want to do... Drag this ghost over this way. Whoop, that wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to go in here, grab this, grab this, fly up the middle, grab that, grab that. Okay, so that took me a really long time on that there city of gold, but we shall uh, go fight Olmec now, which should hopefully go pretty quickly. Um, we're going to go up top, get all our crates and such. Um, hopefully there are crates. And then we will continue from there. I am kind of right on the edge of where I should be stopping my recording. But obviously this is a situation where I don't really want to stop. Um, so we're going to try to go a little bit quick. That gem was lost. That's a machete, that doesn't help me at all. That's another machete. Thank you, game, for so many machetes. If I did not have a shotgun, that might be, you know, mildly not that helpful. Instead of extremely not that helpful. Lots of ropes, no bombs, that's okay. I didn't even realize that guy was still alive. Uh, let's go get these gems. Let's drag him over this way. We're going to play a little bit risky here. In the interest of saving time and bombs, we are going to kill him the easy way. Well, actually, this is the hard way, but... No! The snail spawned right on top of me and knocked me so that I couldn't get under him in time, and that's the entire reason that didn't work. It was going 100% perfectly until that snail spawned. We should have gotten to hell. We still put up over 700,000. That's incredible for a run that didn't even beat Olmec. And it's not my high score, mind you, but... Actually, you know what? That is my high score. I just set my highest score in the game without even beating Olmec. 
by kind of pure luck. And it's on my highest score total because my daily challenge score is higher than my actual high score. But man, that should have been a hell run. It really should have been. That snail just spawned horribly. If I had planned on the snail spawning, I would have been out of that hole. But obviously there was no way that I could plan for that. Um, I should have gone up and taken care of enemies beforehand. Regardless, thank you for watching. It was a really fun, really good Splunky run. Um, hope you guys enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Take care, everyone. Later.